This I wanna nail sports to the bone Top vlog at top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell A blessed day to you all my viewers and subscribers Welcome back, welcome back to the channel Thank you guys for checking this video out Alright my peeps, so a couple of things that I want to talk to you guys about in this one Now out there in Jamaica, we see where an under-19 player playing in the schoolboy league was able to score 203 not out. So we're going to give you some more information as it relates to that. Plus, we're going to talk a little bit about um, Stephanie Taylor. There is an update as it relates to the injury that she picked up and um, when she's expected to return. So we will look at that plus... Um, you know, uh, the uh, the game between the Guyana Harpy Eagles and the Barbados Pride. That game, they had to put a pause on it early in the day as the pitch over there in Antigua was said to be very dangerous uh, um, for play. So, going to talk about it, my viewers and subscribers. Plus, we're going to talk a little bit about Tom Brady, who has decided to call it quits on his football career. So, just hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on that post notification bell. All right, my viewers and subscribers. So, let us kick things off with um the 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 youngster there in Jamaica, you know, who was able to score two hundred and three not out. And you know, I was talking to a subscriber earlier this morning, and he actually he's actually the one that sent sent me the information. So, two hundred and three, you know, he was able to get, and we're talking about twenty four fours and three sixes. Um, his name is Kevon Dre Virgo and he plays for Kingston College. You understand the Kingston College, they are known for um, producing good uh, football players and good uh, track and field athletes. But here we have uh, Virgo getting 203, um, you know, not out. Good to see. Definitely hoping that throughout the rest of the tournament, he will be able to continue this. I mean, um, there are quite a few players there that um, playing in the in the in the competition that you know they 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 are they are capable. We have we have guys that would have played at the under nineteen level um, for West Indies there in the tournament. We have people there that came up through the ranks would have played under fifteen cricket in the region. So. I mean, the cricket is not as popular as, we, as how we would have wanted it to be in Jamaica at the moment. But there are still a few youngsters in high school that, you know, they are able to do their thing. So, good to see a youngster having the appetite to bat that long. Um, we are hoping that throughout the rest of the tournament or throughout the rest of the season, he will be able to put up um, scores like this in our centuries or half centuries. And um, will continue to fall in love with the game so shout out to um kevandre uh kevandre virgo for getting that 203 and uh sticking to cricket my viewers and subscribers in the four day regional championship the game between the guyana harpy eagles and the barbados pride i mean the game got on the way they are still playing when i am recording this but when the game just started, they actually had to stop it, my viewers and subscribers. When um, you know, it, at the, the, because of the pitch over there in 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 Antigua, so they are saying the first round of the West Indies Championship between Barbados and uh, Pride and the Guyana Harpy Eagles had to be halted in Antigua. You know, as a ball that was actually bowled by Kian Harding. You know, to Matthew Nanood flew off the pitch. Apparently, the ball have um have some sort of wings or something. My viewers are subscribers, but you know, I, I, <laughs> fun and joke aside, it seems as if the pitch was I, I don't know maybe uneven or whatever. You know, so they said that it was too dangerous, so they had to halt play. The groundsmen, you know, came out. They had to do do some work on the pitch. Umpires inspected the pitch, and then they were able to continue. But you know it's it's rough it's rough when we're having our 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 major red ball tournament like that and as the game start we're seeing things like that you know the Guyana Harpy Eagles they were batting and they were just eight runs they they just scored eight runs you understand so it was early early 
in the game when they had to stop the game to work on the pitch you know it's definitely not a good look but the game was able to continue and um while i am recording here they are actually playing so you know by the end of today into early tomorrow i will be able to give you guys a recap of how you know the the, the teams actually did that's guyana harpy eagles versus barbados pride and we know from yesterday that Trinidad and Tobago and uh, Red Force, they are going up against the Windward Island Volcanoes. So you will definitely get some information on that later on today into tomorrow. All right. Uh, staying on cricket still, my viewers and subscribers. Stephanie Taylor. So I have some information coming out of the CWI. They are saying that following further assessment of Stephanie Taylor's back injury, by specialists over there in, um, in, in Johannesburg. She has traveled to Cape Town for more treatment and you know she is expected to commence um, a return to play protocols ahead of the team's arrival on Friday. So you know they, they, they would have done some treatment and obviously they are going to take time work with her through her fitness you know take time get her back into the motion of bowling batting and all of that so the the based on what the medical team is saying they will continue to monitor continue to give care and um you know they they, they are hoping that she will be able to return as soon as possible to help um where 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 the icc women's t20 world cup is concerned so those who have been wondering what's happening with stephanie taylor apparently there's some back injury and finally, after being called out, CWI is giving some information. So, you know, um, good to see, good to see them at least uh, communicating that to the fans. All right. Um, before we go, just want to talk a little bit of American football. I don't really watch it a lot, but I know quite a few of you guys watch it. Uh, probably the greatest to have played the game, Tom Brady. He actually called um, time on his career earlier today. You know, saying that he has retired for good. He's retiring for good. And I think that's what, seven Super Bowls, seven, um, seven Super Bowls, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, you know, shout out to Tom Brady. You know, his fans will miss him. At the age of 45, he, he retired at, just the other day, he retired, came back in. And the only thing that he achieved, uh, well, I guess he fulfilled his own his own wishes but you know coming back in we, we notice he would have lost his, his his marriage and all of that and just a couple of months in he's deciding to walk away again so you know um as i said probably the greatest to have played the game deciding to to, to call it quits um so another great superstar coming up on the end of his career same thing like lebron james my viewers and subscribers still playing at a high level still um actually pretty close to the all-time scoring record can imagine that once he would have passed that he's probably just going to look to push for a couple more maybe one or two more seasons and then call it quits but yeah that is all the time we have for this one my viewers and subscribers we will touch base later on big up on yourself